We have two levels of courage in this breaking story that in the climate and the country we live in today, we cannot ignore. Number one, any form, any type of a contributor from Fox News making a statement against Donald Trump and or anyone that Donald Trump loves in Trumposphere takes a great amount of courage. And number two, what it must take for, which I will not pretend I have any idea about, what it takes for a woman to come forward and discuss what has happened to her in her life when it's in direct relation to the Secretary of Defense cabinet nomination of Pete Hegseth by Donald Trump. Huh. I dread, <clears throat> dreaded talking about this today. And in this breaking story, you're going to see exactly what courage is defined as. I look forward to helping him uh, get confirmed as a, as a next Secretary of Defense. He's not been charged with anything, of course, and I think that's important. And so you read from a police report. I've not seen the police report, but again, I'd like to, it, it, there's probably more documentation around this that would be interesting to see. Of course, I'm going to have questions, but that, but that police report and no charges being brought, I think, again, uh, answers itself. Isn't it amazing how the bros always stand up and defend one another? And I'm a bro but I don't. But it's amazing. They go, yeah, well, I believe him. Sure you do. And then they also say, well, except for he wasn't charged. But of course, as we already know, when a Republican gets charged, or I don't know, impeached twice, then of course, it's a witch hunt. This is the place we are. And it isn't funny. This is not humorous when it comes to somebody being put in charge of three million plus military people who has no experience and questionable character like this. I think he's going to be in pretty good shape. We uh, weren't specific, but uh, you know, since no charges were brought by the authorities, um, we have only the press reports. I believe his story. I believe where Pete's at on this thing. And I'm going to be pushing to get him confirmed. It's a disgrace that those those allegations are nothing but what you said, allegations that are he said, she said. This is a case that has been dismissed. This is just dredging up something to try to smear and discredit a candidate. It reminds me of what happened to Brett Kavanaugh. It's a disgrace. I mean, since when does being charged or convicted matter? Joe Paterno had to resign from Penn State because of what one of his employees did that he didn't properly report. OJ was found innocent. Hmm, wonder how you feel about that. And in this breaking story, Fox News contributor Lisa Marshalter discloses her absolute true feelings about Pete Hegseth and also, amazingly, her own self. Um, I met Pete a long time ago. Uh, we spent middle of the night waiting to go on during 2016 uh, before the election and I like him as a person with all due respect to my former colleague. We know that there were three cases of adultery for Pete Hegseth and it is relevant and the reason why it's relevant is article 134 of the UCMJ considers adultery against the military which the Department of Defense is part of. You can't lead an entire organization and all these people if you can't lead by example. One. Two. I am a rape victim and I can tell you there's a reason one in ten rapes go unreported. And it's very difficult for a woman to go in and have a rape kit done. It's physically, mentally and emotionally very difficult to go through that process as I have. And I can tell you that just very personal in, the, in, in my deep core, somebody doesn't do that with their husband and their kids in the hotel texting their husband. Somebody doesn't go into the uh, hospital and subject herself to that. And, and I have to say, I, 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 as a woman and as a victim, I, I believe the victims. And this is a problem for me, the sexual impropriety. And then on top of that, Although Pete has an incredible military career, he doesn't have the leadership career in the military that I feel the uh, Department of Defense requires as their head. Well, one thing I also love the reference to Brett Kavanaugh, but the bottom line is when someone is willing to risk their job 
at basically a state media mentality place like Fox News, which, by the way, I remind you, isn't a news station. They went to court to save themselves billions of dollars in lawsuits to say, we're just entertainment. So the bottom line is, when you see a story like this, when you see a woman like that come forth on that network, in that program, and actually be willing to discuss how she feels about someone with this history. Remember, not the color of their skin, but the content of their character, Dr. Martin Luther King. Stand up, pay attention, and take note. Because we have got to find somebody, someone on that side of the aisle in the Senate, who is going to vote, three of them, to not confirm this guy. It will be a huge mistake for our military in this country. Stay frosty.